Hey guys, it's John here again. Right, <clears throat> hope everyone's had a wonderful Christmas and New Year. Um, Happy New Year. Um, I'm assuming most people have been having a bit of a tough time as well because you haven't been able to go out for New Year and stuff like that. Um, let me know in the comments what you've done for Christmas and New Year. I haven't done a video for a while. Uh, so I haven't been able to catch up. Um, I'm going to show some CDs that I picked up um, just, well, about two weeks before Christmas, but I just have not got around to showing them. I um, bought a new um, light for uh, which holds my phone. Uh, it's on a tripod. So I don't have my phone now falling around and hopefully the light's better, but I don't know. This is a, it's a big ring. It's a, about 10 inch ring around the phone and uh, I'm hoping it will come out all right. Right, um, here we go. So these were quite cheap. I went to Vinyl Vaughan's um, shop and one of these I already had, another one I couldn't remember if I had, and I definitely didn't have um, the, neck, uh, the first one I'm going to show you. And uh, this was, these were a pound each, and um, this one is uh, Tommy Bolin. Sorry about if there's any glare, it's going to be really hard not to get any glare when I've got a light behind my phone. Um, but yeah, one pound. And this is the on Epic. I might have to tone down that light a bit. Let's just try this a minute. That might work. So yeah, uh, one pound for that. And um, it's the album's called Teaser. And if you've listened to Decade of Decadence by Motley Crue, they're like best of album where it sits thing uh, with some remixed and extra songs on they did a cover of teaser which was great uh, that was my first introduction to that song years and years ago um, and I obviously found out it was a Tommy Bolin song and um, I do like the original as well so and uh, this has got a song called Wild Dogs absolutely brilliant song um, that is uh, on one of the Deep Purple Live um, uh, records, um, which one was it now? Well, it might be one of the CDs that um, of the Mark IV era, uh, where they did, um, they brought out some CDs about 15 years ago, and they um, had some rare stuff on and things like that, and Wild Dogs is on one of those, so uh, yeah, in a... When, they, when he was in Deep Purple. Unfortunately he died in the mid 70s. Um, can't remember the date now. 76 time, I think. Um, but yeah, real shame, but self-inflicted, so, which is a shame. But yeah, this is, um, this was in brilliant condition and I'm looking forward to playing that. Um, I don't know any of the other songs on there at the moment. Just uh, teaser and wild dogs. Right, so that's see that originally album came. The original album came out in seventy five. So, right next one is by a Foreigner and it's Agent Provocateur. Um, and yes, I love this album. Uh, it's a real great album. And this is um, this is one of the original. Uh, US Atlantic ones. So, oh uh, no, sorry. This is a German press of the um, Atlantic CD. So, hopefully, it's not a bootleg. No, it doesn't. It's got all the numbers there. That's all right. So, there's the CD. But yeah, I love that album. Um, I prefer. Is that gone? That one and inside information was there and my mate Wayne 
and then grabbed inside information the original cd i was like oh no because i would have liked to have had that as well i couldn't remember if i had that but for a pound i would sooner pick it up and get home and go oh yeah okay i've got it but it's only a quid i can get rid of one of them or you know um and majority of the time i keep them anyway so there we go so that one and that album came out in 1984 i think yes it did Lots of great music in 84, especially rock, metal. Um, and then this one is by a band that's not um, something I share a lot of. Um, I I do like this band. I have mentioned them before in the past, but and I couldn't. I thought my copy was a bit scratched, so I found this one for a quid. I thought, yeah, I'm just going to have that. And it's the um, the very best of Talk Talk and. This was the first thing I ever bought of theirs, um, uh, probably in the very early 90s. Uh, actually, and yeah, this CD came out in 1990, so it's probably about 91, 92 I bought the CD. So, and yeah, I do love it. Uh, I've got most of their CDs now, and um, my favourite songs on there would be um, Living in Another World or Life's What You Make It. My uh, such a shame would be the standout track for me, but yeah, talk talk. If you don't know what talk talk are like, go and check them out. They're not a rock band, well, little bits of it in there, but uh, right. So that is the three CDs I got from Vaughan's record shop um, before Christmas, and in the next video, I'm going to show you what I got for Christmas um, I didn't get a huge amount but I will show you what I got and just because I wasn't really asking for a lot of music at Christmas I wanted other things um, and mainly over Christmas I've been playing PlayStation uh, 4 games that I've been able to get at good prices and I've thoroughly enjoyed a few of them I've got so um, but I'm going to show in the next video what I got for Christmas, and then I will show there's something else I've got. Uh, what was it now? I can't remember, but I'll think of it. What it was, I bet you when I turn the camera off, I go, "Oh, that was it." Right. Hope you all had a great New Year anyway, and you haven't got hangovers because it is the first of January 2020 today. And in two days time is my birthday. So um, yeah, the four or five, mm, scary. Right, cheers, keep rocking, keep listening to whatever it is you're listening to and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.